morning. In the last farming video, you guys saw that I lost a gang off the packer due to a bearing failure. Um, I called around this morning and Weiss Equipment up in Frankenmuth, they have those bearings in stock. So I'm going to go up there and get those bearings from them. Um, also, while I'm out there, I'm gonna I'm gonna head out. I'm heading out to the field right now to pull, you know, the parts off there and everything. Make sure that's all I need are just the bearings. We ended up getting about an inch of rain between Sunday night and Monday, so everything's wet. I'm not gonna be in the fields for a day or two, maybe more, because uh, they're talking more rain today and tomorrow possibly. So I'm going to do what I can to get the packer back up and going and that way we are ready to go once the fields dry up again. Well, good news is all I need is a bearing for the packer. So that's a good thing. And then we can put the packer back together and that will be being used. But as I was taking the old bearing off the packer, I glanced over and I saw the field cultivator had a flat tire on the wing. You think maybe they'll be able to plug this? Awesome. Really awesome. That's... <laughs> That's just kind of like the icing on the cake. <laughs> so now I got to take that off, haul it up to the tire place, get a new tire ordered so I can get it back on so we can keep rolling. It's full of dirt also, so it makes it extremely heavy, even better. I managed to get it in the truck. I may have had a hernia, but I got her in the truck. So now I got to take that up to the tire place, get, them a new, get a new tire coming for it, and go from there. I may have a spare tire at the farm we might be able to throw on there if push comes to shove. All right, I'm in luck. That tire right there will fit on there as a spare. So that's a good thing. So I'm not down per se, because I'm assuming that's gonna take a few days to get that tire in. So I can go drop that off. And that way, if weather allows me to get in the fields before that tire comes in, I could throw that other, that spare tire on there. And, keep rolling so now I need to go drop that tire off and run to Frankenmuth and get a bearing so while I was making a parts list of stuff I figured I'd walk around the planters and see just double check everything and I glad I did because I found I have a couple disc openers here bearings are going out of them so I need eight disc openers for this as well and I lost a handle there's a handle and a spring inside of there I don't know if you can see it but there's a pin that holds this handle on and the spring on well that pin broke so I lost the handle and the spring and what that does is 
Um, these are closing wheels, so they close the trench up over the seed and pack it down. And they, there's downforce on that. Well, when there's no spring tension to force it down, then the trench doesn't close properly. So yeah. So I need to get a new handle for the closing wheels and a spring and a pen. And then I need like eight opener, disc openers. It's never ending. And the crappy part about all this is I have 250 acres left. I have to work up and plant. That's it. 250 acres and I'm done. Like, if everything goes right, I have two days worth of planting. If, let's throw in some factors there of um, breakdowns, whatever. Um, anything could happen. So let's add a couple days to that. I have like four days. All I need is four days and everything to hold together and I can be done. All right, I just got back. I got the parts I need for the packer to get that up and going. I need to load that spare tire in the back of the truck. Um, and I got the old tire dropped off, so that is going to be repaired. They said it probably be, won't be till the end of the week because they have to order that tire. Naturally, I kind of figured that. Um, and the parts for the planter I have ordered. They're should be here in a couple days i'm guessing right roughly um but this tire is going to be a pain in the butt because this is a foam filled tire and foam adding foam to tires does a couple things one it prevents it from ever going flat it'll never go flat um and two it makes it extremely heavy like that tire right there's a couple hundred pounds right now and it's not that big so i'm going to be struggling to get that on there but i need to get it on there that way if mother nature allows me to run tomorrow i don't know if she will but if she does then i'm ready to go Let's go put this tire on first, then I'm going to leave the tools there, and then I'm going to have to take the truck to go get the loader, bring the loader over, we'll get the packer hooked back up to the field cultivator, then we'll weasel that bearing in place. And then I'll take the loader back over to the truck and bring the truck back, grab the tools. It's a lot of messing around. but. It all needs to be done. You know, on a plus side, I just got a notification that uh, the new computer I ordered online was shipped. So hopefully that'll get here. It says it'll take it a week and a half to get here. I don't understand that. But anyway, it was shipped UPS. So hopefully my new computer will be here. My biggest issue I'm having is um, storage. Um, I'm at the point where when I'm editing videos and things like that I have to delete them like right off the computer because it's not enough storage on the computer and it won't let me edit a video because of the fact that I don't have enough space on the computer and I've tried external hard drives and I've done everything and it's just gotten to the point where I've outgrown my computer so we got in line, we ordered a new computer, one that's got like two terabytes of storage. Um, so I'll have a new desktop computer at home to edit videos and then my laptop, I'll still continue using my laptop when we're on trips and vacation and things like that and on the road. I got the tire on, got the packer hooked to the field cultivator. Now we're moving the disc gang into place. Hopefully this will go smoothly. I have a feeling I'm going to be cussing and swearing.
Okay, I got two bolts on that side. This is my issue. I gotta get that wedged over. I got it in. Now I gotta raise this wing up that much. And I don't think I can do it. Oh, I might be able to get it by hand. Hang on. in sweet all right all four bolts are on this side i got two more bolts to put on that side and it's a matter of tightening it up and then we should be able to fold this up all right she's on now we can fold her up take it over to the field where uh i got my truck parked and i'm trying to determine if i want to walk back and get that or just drive back here and leave that here. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. All right, I'm giving you guys a job. You have a task. You have to remind me to bring fuel out for this tractor here because she's low. And I'm going to need to put fuel in this before I use it again. All right, fold it up. Well, I was trying to decide, do I take the truck back there and get the tractor and blah, 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 or leave the tractor? I think I'm just gonna go for a walk through the woods and cut through it. It's only like a mile, mile and a half. And a walk wouldn't hurt me, and considering fields are too wet to do anything anyway, I'll just go for a nature hike. I'm going to guess the corn will be knee-high by the 4th of July. It's got a few thin spots here and there, but overall, I'm impressed with the stand. It's getting to the point where we're going to have to come out here and side dress this stuff, give it a boost. I thought I could hear some rumbles of thunder off in the distance over there. Kind of makes sense with the dark clouds. Now my phone's ringing. Alright, made it to the tractor. Now, I can take this over, drop it off where my truck is in the big tractor, take my truck, go back to the farm because it looks like it's going to rain again. Alright guys, I am going to go back to the barn, drop these tools off, close the barn back up, and I think I'm going to go home and edit this and go about my day it uh, I do have to run up to the field that they're spreading manure on I do have to run up there to see how wet it is he was messaging me earlier today wanting to know how much rain we got and if they might be able to run tomorrow so I'm gonna go up and take a look at that and then I'm gonna go home and figure out my day from there so thanks for watching we'll catch you in the next one